Yeah, right. <laughs> Oh no, it's the comedy festival, right, okay. It's the Sunday before the comedy festival and I'm here at the Charles Wilson building up on the 10th floor in a very cold music room with the cast um, and the characters from Broken Homes, which launches, is it next Friday? It's your yeah. first night next Friday. Okay, starting from the left, for those of you watching the same way I am, and we've got Canavan, <laughs> Becky, James, and I've got to look at my pad here because I keep calling him Philip. This is Patrick. Hello. Okay, right guys, so... Now, you've actually done this before, haven't you, in Edinburgh? Um, maybe I'll ask James this one. Um, do you think there's pressure on you because you've done it before and it was viewed as being successful and you had a good, a good review in The Scotsman? There's more pressure on you here in Leicester? I think there's tremendous pressure on us. Um, I'm certain we can rise to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, yes. When you go to Edinburgh, um, there's a hundred shows, there's a thousand shows on and you pay your money, you take your chances, might be good, might be rubbish. And somebody writes a review and says, this show was good, go and see it. And more people go and see it. And we finished doing this show, we thought, why not, they liked that. We'll take it somewhere else. And then everyone reads that it is good this time, so it has to be. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you feel any kind of uh, pressure? You know what I mean? When people say, like, Sherlock Holmes, obviously, it's been in the cinema recently with um, Robert Downey Jr. I mean, there's a hard act to follow, isn't it? I mean, I always think of, like, Jeremy Brett, but I'm a big fan of things like Basil Rathbone from the original Sherlock Holmes. I mean, do you think people come with a preconception in mind and then the fact that you've put it in the comedy festival, um, people will rise to that? Yes, I think they certainly do. Everyone's got their idea of who Sherlock Holmes is. Um, my idea before I came across this script certainly wasn't what I now know him to be, but fortunately, Robin, the, the, the writer is a genius, I'm certain of it, um, uh, uh, has led us to a new understanding of what Sherlock Holmes is. Yes, so that we're going to educate people as well as use them. Hmm. Now, Canavan, obviously, people know things like, you know, famous sidekicks and stuff, and I think, you know, Dr. Watson has probably got to be one of the most famous sidekicks. Does that bring its own kind of pressures as well in how you, you know, play the character, and then obviously the fact that, you know, it is a farce? It's the pressure you put on yourself that you have to worry about. Um, I try wherever possible not to look at what other people are doing. Um, and maybe it's a bit blinkered, but it, I hope it works. Yeah, I'm sure it will. I've just, I've just watched the first act, and I must admit, I was, uh, I was smiling. I kept looking over, and Becky was looking at me going, he's smiling, he's laughing, that's good. That's a good sign with a week to go. Like, you know? yeah. Okay, Becky, you said, uh, we were talking earlier about you guys all kind of studied in Leicester mm -hmm. and had all kind of met each other through doing things like the theatre and stuff. What's it like coming back to somewhere like Leicester where you've done all your, your training and all your groundwork and stuff to, to get involved in something like the Comedy Festival? Um, well, it's just it's good to be working with the people that... When I left university, I didn't think that I would be working with... Well, I hoped that I would be, but I didn't know that I would be working with James again and Canavan again. And it's nice to... The first show that I ever did at Leicester University was with these two. Um, James was directing. And, and didn't you say Canavan had longer hair as well? Yes. <laughs> no, no, you'd had it cut. Uh, yeah, had cut mm, okay. um, yeah. Um, so it's not... Yeah, it's good. It's always weird walk, walking onto an old school campus. But it's not been that long since I was here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not... You're not the wrong side of 40 like I am. Right, it's coming to, um, on to Patrick. Now, Patrick, you're playing um, Inspector Lestrade without giving too much away. Um, again? My helmet's over there. Sorry? My helmet's Your helmet's over there. Well, maybe you can run over there in a minute if you can show us. I mean, what sort of, um, what sort of uh, accent will you be using? Have you been working? I mean, I'm from, I'm from Stepney. I'm, I'm an East End lad, so uh, you know, uh, you'll have to impress me with your, uh, with your accent. I've been for a bit, so it's a bit of a, oh, right, okay. a, bit of a cockney with the H's instead of the vowels. <laughs> Go on, give us a blast. Much obliged you could come, Mr. Holmes. Doctor, we've got them out mostly in end, but you might be able to help us out with a few minor details. <laughs> now, see, I've, I've, I've got relatives like that at, at weddings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, a, a quick question for all of you, and you can all kind of dive in. You know, we're going to come along and visit some of the shows and try and catch up with you. Um, 
what, what are you looking forward to the most? Because obviously this year the comedy festival has expanded to 17 days, so there's a lot more probably national interest as well, I should imagine, in it. The guys have done really well in getting it all together. So what are you looking forward to the most? Being on stage. Coming off stage. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the comedy festival. Yeah. Patrick? Um, yeah, being on stage. Just getting clapped out and then getting off stage. <laughs> Becky? Doing a play, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's why we're here, because we like performing and having people giggle at stuff that we're doing. It's quite nice. And going to see stand-up after. Yeah. yeah. And seeing other acts. Yeah. This is my next question. Do you actually get an opportunity to go off and, and see other acts and actually take part, if you like, almost like as a paying punter in the comedy festival? Yeah. Do you find that helps? I'll be booking my tickets for all the 1040 shows. Because, uh, because we have clashes on Friday and Saturday nights yeah. with a lot of acts. Um, yeah. We're on more than one weekend, so if anybody who's watching, if you want to go and see some of one week, yeah. we are on the next week. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we will miss some acts, but we'll definitely find others. Yeah. That was the good thing about Edinburgh, isn't it? That yeah. It was just amazing to be up there and you obviously spending a lot of time flying, but <clears throat> going to see as many shows as we could fit in and um, yeah, totally immersing yourself in some culture for two and a half weeks and it'll be good to do that every weekend, although I'm going to be exhausted. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a long time, isn't it? You've got quite a few uh, quite a few dates, haven't you? You've got next Friday and Saturday, and then every... Is it every Saturday after it's that? Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday. Mm. And um, we're all... I think we're all working during the week, aren't we? In yeah. other jobs. Um, touring at primary, primary schools and secondary schools. Oh, so you're, you're getting involved in some workshops and things like that as well? Uh, yeah, doing that bit. That's um, around Nottinghamshire. Okay. Um, but yeah, so up at five in the morning and doing three shows in Newark and then driving across to Leicester and doing another show in the evening. <laughs> well, it's dedication I admire you. Like I said, watch, watching the first act there, uh, I'm going to come along and film it anyway, but it, it, I'll certainly be recommending it to people. And I know quite a few of us are, are excited about uh, getting involved and seeing it. Now, you're on at two venues, aren't you? There's the Richard Attenborough Centre and also the Fraser Noble. So what capacity have you got at the Richard Attenborough Centre? Richard Attenborough Centre is... 9,900, um, uh, Fraser Noble, uh, set it out yesterday, it's 168, okay. and we've got two shows there on the first Saturday at 6th. Okay. And, my and my last question is to, uh, to James, sitting at the front, without giving too much away about what character you're playing, sitting there with your jacket on, pointing at me with your pipe as you did in the first bit there. Um, <laughs> From your point of view, we were talking about, you know, what is a successful comedy festival for you guys, and uh, you came up with quite an interesting one that you were talking about. Well, there's plenty of measures of success, but mm. one of them is just to have impressed a stranger, to have made someone that we don't know go and, and feel that the time they have invested into watching our show was worthwhile. So that's, that's what we want. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for taking the time out to see me during your rehearsals. I'll let you get back. And we'll catch up with you next Friday when everybody will be in not only costume, maybe more costume. And break a leg, I think, is what the uh, commonal thing is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.